two years ago. Two years ago. This is actually his first belt, right? His first belt that he oh. wore right here. This was another one that he won right here. This is actually a, a show we did at the Blue Horizon. This one right here. Then this one right here, he won at uh, Augusta, Georgia, the National Classic. Some of them do every year. Some of boy classic. So, right here. This is the one we won on uh, June 13th, right? Mm -hmm. This was our show we did in Bucks County. He won this belt for the kid out of D.C. And this is the biggest one that you can win as an amateur. Yeah, that one's cool. Whoa! This was the Ringside World Championship. You can see the, the thing in the back. This is the one he won out there. So these are the things. These are just like national belts, but the trophies and medals that you, that you win is unbelievable. I mean, he's got so many trophies and medals, I don't know where to put them anymore. But he's been doing this since he's been younger than him. And he goes five since he was like two years old is when I started teaching him how to actually throw combinations. Yours. Later on, you guys can take some pictures of the belts and stuff like that. If you want. <coughs> but you see how we dress? We like to go in the ring and stop. It's not too many kids that do what we do. So the first thing we're going to do is combination. This is called hip work. Pedro is going to have to do. And how I teach, everybody teaches different. I teach you numbers because it's easier to say a number than a word. So when you go to school, you start learning the alphabet before you learn how to start the word. So I use numbers. So A, hey, you see, I use numbers, but it's basically the same thing. So I throw it with a jab, and it's like, yeah, I throw one. Stand, stand, right hand. I say three. Take out the clock. Stand, stand, four. I say three. Now look up. Four. So we'll mix it up. I do it slow. Now let's do it full speed. Right. Then I'll mix it up once in a while. Three and one, two. Now I say that. One, two, one, two. Okay. Now we say three, four, two. Now we'll go fast. Okay. Then I'll mix it up. Roll. Then I'll mix it back. Roll. Okay, now I'm going to start going through some stuff full speed, right? Come on. Okay. Now this is what we call count two, which I go right hand. You can get hit with a right hand, so you have to always be able to catch it. So this is called my count two. Ready, go. Catch it. Full speed. Okay, ready? Catch it. Hit. 
Now, this is basically pad mid work. As you do that before you warm up in the fight, and it's basically it's just combinations. And these are the, the, some of the first things that you start learning when you start learning how to box. You start learning how to step, leash, step, step over, then everything else is still behind you. And with our system, you pick it up, you pick it up in two weeks, you can pick it up. It's not hard to learn. Well, you guys can go on the computer and learn everything on the computer. I know you, I know you can learn how one, two, three, four. It's not hard. So that's basically like a mid demonstration. Cool. How did everybody like that? I'm going to show you some of the little guys right here. Come on, me. <coughs> Your shoulders, sir? You're going to be turned five years old. Yeah, but it's going to be nice now. For real? Oh, it burns? Hey, hang up. Hold on. Raise my hand. I think you pulled a muscle. And it pinched it. Three, three. Give me some power. Four. Two. Six. Hands up. One more. There you go. Move around. Move around. Ready? Roll through. Give me that three power. Ready? Go. That's it. One more. the birthday boy. Go get to a pair of gloves on real quick and then come in here. I'm going to let you do some mitts with Milton. And then we'll get everybody to try and I'll help everybody else out.